So we're going to route the Amazon Fire Tablet 2015. Uh, so what you're going to need is a uh, Linux-based computer. I'm going to be using my Chromebook. Just want to show you that this can be done with the Chromebook with Linux installed. So I bought this many years ago. Never, uh, never opened it. Never had the time to root it, but I figured since we're in self quarantine, I've got some time. Let's see if it has any battery left. I doubt it. Nope. A lot of juice. So there's not much in the box, just pretty much the tablet and the power cord. So let's plug it up. It's alive. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole initial setup. I don't need it. So over to the computer. I'll be following this tutorial here. Unlock, root, twerp, unbrick, and downgrade your Fire 7, Ford, and Austin. So it says here for 5th generation click here and save it which I've already done I downloaded it and then unzipped it to this folder you're gonna have two folders you're gonna go into the AmmoNet folder So create a, a terminal window from this folder, which I've done here, and then run these commands.
which I've already done. And this, these, these commands as well. So after you've got your your computer all set up, now it's time to go to the tablet. So what you do is you run this code here. And then it says waiting for boot ROM. So you've got two options. If you're in a more recent firmware, you're going to have to take the cover off. Um, use a uh, use a paper clip to short um, one of the pins on the motherboard. But if you're but if you're on an order firmware, uh, it says here you can just hit the volume down button while plugging it in. So let's see if that works. I'm gonna hold down the volume down button while I plug it in. Okay, now what? Now it says, uh, Okay, so now just press enter. Oh my god, that was so simple. Okay, so after the script finishes, you should see this on your tablet. It says hacked fast boot mode. After you get that message on the tablet, you have to run the fast boot script. Now your tablet should reboot into twerp if it, if it was successful. Upside down. Well, there it is. Swipe to allow modifications. That was so simple. Oh, um, so once you have twerp installed. You can install your custom ROMs and Magist. So I've already saved a custom ROM onto here and Magisk. So I'm going to put it into the USB slot. So I'm going to be installing Fire OS. Um, here, let me 
show you which one I'm going to install. Fire OS Reboot. Okay, here it is. So the ROM I'm, I'm going to be installing is the Fire OS revamped for 5th gen or the 7th gen. So it comes with a Nova Launcher, um, the Play Store, so I downloaded it from the site. Saved it onto my micro SD card. Swipe to confirm flash. So it just completed installing the ROM. I'm going to hit back. I'm going to install Majisk. That should be pretty quick. It's done. Now hit Reboot System. Now you should have a fully rooted tablet. So after the little Android icon, you should see this, the Fire logo with the uh, optimizing system storage and applications message. So this step is going to take about 10 minutes. So after it finishes optimizing, you should see the Welcome to Fire message or screen. Uh, just hit continue. Put in your Wi-Fi. Okay, there you go. And that's it. Uh, let me just show you that it does come with the Play Store. So I need to do a sign up to the Play Store. So there you go. You pretty much have a uh, a stock Google uh, Nexus tablet without all the Amazon bloatware. So this is just a pure um, Android tablet now. Alright, I'll put all the links in the video. Good luck.